Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here today doing your daily love reading for March 18th, 2019. I want to thank you guys all for coming to my channel, for checking out my videos, and for um, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm so truly, truly honored, blessed, and grateful to have you here and supporting me. So, let's see what our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in that order have in store for March 18th in love. I said all messages be brought clear and direct through my cards to be for the best and greatest good of our fire sign friends. All right. All right, Aries. You guys have the devil in reverse. Leo. You guys have Judgment in Reverse. And Sagittarius, you guys have the Page of Rods in Reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Two of Pentacles, clarified with the Empress in Reverse and the Fool in Reverse. Bottom of your deck and outcome is the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Beautiful. All right. So... I'm going to tip you on down here so you guys can see your cards. Okay. Let's use these as clarifiers. We're going old school today. We're going back to the Raider weight. All right. So... Your guys' overall energy um, is the Two of Pentacles, trying to find balance, trying to keep um, things together, the ebb and flow of life, the up and down, trying to find a happy medium, um, trying to find and restore balance back in your life. Um, some situation that you guys have all been through um, lately has really, um, has really caused you to feel imbalanced, to feel like you don't know where to place your energy. Um, this could be stemmed from a um, relationship where you were the third party, um, or it could be stemmed from a, a situation that you weren't able to get off the ground, that wasn't successful, or that didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm just saying it could be third party energy because you do have the two pinnacles with the three the Empress is known as the mistress at times. So, um, but whatever the situation was, you didn't get the, the, uh, you didn't get the start that you had hoped. Um, you could have been a third party that was promised a relationship that you thought was moving in the direction of a, a commitment that didn't end up that way. Um, in the past, it had left you stuck. It had left you um, feeling like you didn't know whether to move on, move forward, or move away, however the situation. Um, for some of you, you were wanting to um, uh, create something, start a new business, however however it fits. I'm seeing many situations here. So, all right, let's start with Aries. Why is the devil here in reverse for Aries men? All right, and Aries females. Okay. Bottom of the deck for you, Aries, of the clarifying deck is once again, the two of pentacles. So most definitely um, not knowing where to place your energy um, or somebody was not knowing whether where to place yours. But the good thing about this, uh, Aries, is you guys are getting away from a toxic situation, a toxic bond that you had with somebody, um, a very strong bond, uh, a very karmic bond for some of you. Um, you are cho choosing to walk away from this situation, away from this um, situation that didn't bring you... Um, where you thought it was going to. You are deciding, Aries men, to um, work on your stability, to work on your finances, to regain your own balance um, before you offer love to anybody. So you're going to just focus on your career, your work, your money. Um, finding just stability in your own life again could be finding stability within your own home and um, not worrying about love at the moment. 
um, releasing that toxic energy, that need to have somebody. Like, I have to have this person. I, do, I can't live without this person. You're letting that go and in turn going to uh, focus on your finances. And this is really a freeing energy for you, Aries men. You're just going to work on the changes in your own life and not worry about this empress that you did not get this new beginning with. For you, Aries females, you are also leaving a toxic relationship. Um, this is... Uh, toxic. It could be a toxic marriage for some of you. Some of you are leaving a commitment, a long-term commitment or a marriage. I'm going to focus on balancing out your own life, not wanting to um, stay with the uh, father of your children for some of you, um, not, not walking blissfully ignorant into the future anymore, which sometimes blissfully ignorant is amazing. We're all there sometimes. But sometimes we just want to take the blindfold off and know what's going on around us. And that's what you're feeling now, Aries females. Um, for some of you, you are getting out of a toxic situation that you were very connected to with somebody. You felt there was a deep, deep spiritual bond there. Um, and you're walking away from this because they didn't leave a marriage. They were already committed um, to somebody could be a Taurus. We have two Taurus cards here. Um, Capricorn, they could have been married to a Taurus. Uh, however it is, you're walking away from a situation where they wouldn't leave a marriage or Aries females, you guys are leaving a marriage. Either way, you're walking away from that toxicity, um, finding the balance again in your own life. Um, getting out of these rough waters, this person that you are connected to, they were like, they, they like, constantly created drama and you were wanting out of that dramatic situation that was always around this person. Um, no longer holding out for that, that leap of faith with this person and really letting go of the idea of creating, um, a future with this person. If you are the third party, you are definitely letting go of being the third party. No longer standing for that energy. You know that there's only supposed to be two energies in a relationship, and that's what you are in search for and releasing that toxicity. And that too is just very freeing to you. Um, no longer feeling trapped in this situation, trapped waiting for this person, trapped in this marriage for some of you. Um, just freeing yourself. A very beautiful energy. All right, Leos, you guys have the judgment in reverse. Um, for some of you, you're not seeing something right in front of you that the universe is trying to give you that aha moment and you're just not seeing it. For some of you, you're wanting a second chance with somebody and not getting it. Let's see what judgment is here for those Leos. Or somebody wants a second chance with you. Leo men. Leo men. And Leo females. Thank you. Bottom of your guys' clarifying deck is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Getting out of a, a situation where you felt betrayed. You really felt like somebody um, took full advantage of having you being open and, um, and vulnerable to them. And taking that and using it against you. Excuse me, using it against you. For you, Leo uh, males, you are not giving somebody a second chance. You see the connection for what it was. It was kind of a facade. This person made you believe some things that weren't necessarily true, um, causing you to be all up in your your feelings, being very out of balance within. And you're just you're not going to offer that cup. You're not. You're not doing it anymore. You are releasing yourself from this situation. Um, this person thought that they could always call you and you'd be there. Um, they felt like they had you hanging on a wire that um, you would always be there waiting for for them. But you are coming to the end of that cycle with that person and you very soon will be moving forward, moving on. Um, you're going to find balance again, but not until um, we get into this Aries season for you Leos. Um, so, you know, February 21st through, what is it? March 9th or April 19th, I believe. But um, 
which is the Aries and the Taurus. So you're going to finally release this person in that time. You're going to find your balance. So you are not giving them a second chance right now, and you will regain your balance in the time of Aries and Taurus in that two-month period. You're really going to find the strength and the courage to break free out of this um, toxic hold this person has had on you, and you are going to walk in your truth um, towards a relationship that's better suited for you. Leo females, you are putting the end to a third-party situation for sure. You are not having it anymore. You, um, you really were hoping and praying for this person to release that other uh, person that they had, and they just didn't do it quick enough. You, you're not doing it anymore. You, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're just not doing it. You feel very betrayed by this person. This person, you feel very used by this person. Um, you could have been pregnant at one time with this person, but that's only for a few of you. Um, but this is no longer wanting to work on the connection, um, no longer wanting to be a second choice. Um, so you're not holding out for them to come back. You were really waiting for them to return and to... Uh, to tell you that they pick you, but, but you just feel so betrayed right now. Some, they betrayed you for some reason. Yeah. Which, yeah. So you're just not even, you're not even, um, taking this energy any further. You are moving on. This person waited way too long. Um, you are finding balance, Leo females very soon within the next two weeks, you are going to completely cut yourself out of this situation um, and have a complete turnaround. For some of you, um, Leo females, you're meeting somebody in the next two weeks that's going to help you get over this person and be able to move forward um, a little more quicker than what you would have um, otherwise. All right, Sagittarius, you have the page of rods. Somebody's got you blocked or you blocked somebody. Um, messages are not getting through. Messages are not getting in um, from you guys. Either that or they are just horrible at communicating with you or you are to them. Which I have to admit, I'm horrible. If somebody like texts me, it takes me like six hours to text them back. <laughs> but this is different than that. This is like intentionally ignoring your messages, intentionally not answering you back because, um, I mean, they read your message as it comes in, but they're not, they're not answering you back or you are doing this to somebody else, um, Sagittarius, but, um, for a lot of you, an earth sign could have blocked communication from you because you are the mistress. And in order for them to save uh, the relationship that they are currently in, they had to block you in all manners. So let's see what's here for our Sagittarius men. Sagittarius men, thank you. And Sagittarius females. Sagittarius females. Maybe. Come on, Sagis. Sagittarius females. Why is the page of rods here in reverse? Okay. Your bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles. So um, this is somebody that you feel abandoned by. This is somebody that um, turned their back on you. You trusted them. Um, you believed what they had to say. You followed them into the cold winter night and you turned around and they're gone. Um, they totally, um, you feel like they totally led you, um, in the wrong direction. They totally, uh, made you believe something was going to happen. A relationship was going to, um, move forward. And now there you are by yourself and, um, they're nowhere to be found. So, uh, with this page of rods for you, Sagittarius men, you guys, uh, are not getting your messages through to, um, it could be a Libra or an earth sign, um, Taurus, Aries, but you're feeling like this is very unfair. You feel like this, like this is very intentional almost. Um, you didn't know about this, this other person having somebody else. Um, they're dealing with their own karma and they're not able to come forward until they deal with that karma. Uh, this is also somebody you're dealing with um, is refusing to get a divorce or leave a long-term commitment or contract with 
um, the mother uh, or uh, father of their children, however it fits. Um, so you're left just like limbo, left in limbo with your feelings up in the air, not knowing what to do, where to go from here. Um, you are no longer uh, waiting for this person. You're going to move forward in your own truth. You're moving forward and out of this Eight of Swords. Um, you are leaving this behind because this feels so unfair to you. There was something that was very unjust due to you. You didn't see it coming. Um, and this person isn't even uh, admitting to it. They're blocking you so they don't have to answer your questions. So they don't have to answer to you. But um, this is karma. So karma is, they're dealing with karma right now. Um, but it's just really leaving you up in the air and you're letting it go. You're releasing that. I feel very strong that you are walking away from that connection. For you Sagittarius females, you um, are also not getting messages through or somebody is not getting through to you. Um, you are dealing with somebody who uh, was very distant, very cold, very uh, aloof. This person refused to take action towards you. Um, this person, the I'm seeing the two of you were together for a short time, um, and they they took off. They abandoned you. They ghosted you. However, they came back for a brief moment, putting your um, emotions back in the ringer because you were starting to get over this person. And then they came back, making you all these promises that they were going to move forward. They were going to leave the person that they were dealing with, that you were going to get this new beginning. And um, all of a sudden... They cut off from you again. Um, this person uh, is having a hard time cutting themselves away from the person that they are currently with. This person also is very manipulative. This person, it's all about them. Everything has to be about them. If they're not happy, nobody's happy. If you're not happy, nobody cares type of energy. Um, they are very manipulative towards you and their person. Um they could have blocked you in order to keep their this person um, because they think that this person brings in more stability, more balance. Even though they feel an, um, an unconditional amount of love for you, this person brings in financial stability. And they are in living in fear, not wanting to um, lose that stability. So they're giving up on an opportunity to take that leap of faith with you. But this person is very selfish. Sagittarius females, you're better off. Um, cutting your energy and moving forward and um, you could have an air sign coming in for you very soon as well for you Sagittarius females all right let's see what our let's do goddess guidance today see what they got for us see what guidance goddess is going to help us through our Monday the 18th um Angels, what goddess guidance card do we need for Monday the 18th? Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Let's start with Aries first. What guidance does Aries need for Monday, March 18th? One card for Aries guidance. All right, thank you. Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. What a beautiful card to have for you, Aries. Um, yeah, that this is this has to do with more than just uh, you know love. It has to do with your finances. You could be worrying about um, like making ends meet. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So, um, the message from this goddess is, this is, a, this is a kind universe and everyone within it is working in your favor. There are no tests, blocks, or obstacles in your way except your own projections of fear into your future. Take a moment and hush your mind, quieting it from worries and fears. 
Feel me brush your brow with a new energy of faith, hope, and optimism. These energies fuel your exciting present time as well as all your future moments. Why would you wish darkness upon yourself when light shines all around you? Step into the brightness of lightening your thoughts and feelings. You must stop worrying as anxiety squelches the goodness it seeks to find you. Clear your heart of fear and replace those energies with ones that will serve you and your family. Instead, refuse to think of anything except for your bright today and tomorrow, and I promise you that it shall be so. So you just need to remember that you and your loved ones will be protected and provided for. So let go of any fears about your future. Um, make sure you're holding positive thoughts and intentions in your space and know that... Uh, there's no need to worry about money, but visualize abundance for you, Aries. So, all right, let's see what Leo has for Monday. What guidance does Leo need for Monday, March 18th? Whoa, way too many. One card, thank you. The arts. So, express yourself through creative activities. Nice. Okay, so this card's message is, you're a limitless being. If it seems that you have time, money, or other restrictions, it's simply because your mind is focused upon the material world. You can unlimit yourself by lifting the cloak of the material world from your focus. Music is essential for the expression of non-material ideals and energy. Music colors our surroundings with the emanations from the highest vibra vibrational fields. It allows us all to escape all limitations in our thinking and very existence. Surround yourself in music and allow it to stimulate your own creative thinking and to spark new ideas. Flow with the music and give yourself permission to investigate and experiment with putting your creative ideas into action. Enjoy being limitless. So uh, what, this, what this card is saying, Leo, is just to freaking turn up your music, sing, dance, draw, paint, write, whatever it is that you do that's creative, um, you know, study, or, you know, some of you are changing careers and that's going to give you uh, some creative freedom. You know, take a class, invest in some hobbies, you know, keep a journal. Just there are other uh, outlets. There are other ways to find a support system through the arts and the divine. So I love, love music like that is part of my meditation on my way home from work. Um, is music. I just crank it and jam all the way home. <laughs> all right, Sagittarius. But it really clears my mind. It really frees my thoughts, you know. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius. You have Mother Magdalene. Unconditional love. All right. So love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. So what this message from the what this card's message for you, Sagittarius, is um, I'm not what most people think, yet to defend myself would be to sink to a lower level than I am comfortable with. I am one with the divine, just as you are, and it is here that I choose to reside. The lower levels of human bickering, judgment, and chaos are just that, lower levels. I choose to do my work from the level of higher consciousness where love reigns supreme. It's here where the most good can be done, and I urge you to do the same. Where you dwell in consciousness is where you truly dwell. So focus your thoughts on the good things that you can find in people and rise above all appearances otherwise. So don't worry what others think or say. Heal this situation with love. Send love to those who have hurt or misjudged you. Forgive yourself for what you think you have done or not done. And release old unforgiveness towards others to help yourself heal and move on. And your bottom of the deck card is Aphrodite, inner goddess. So awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So, beautiful message. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the appearance may be. All right, fire signs, I hope you have a beautiful Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.